Hey, what's up, y'all? Man, it's your homeboy, whatever, man. Just coming at you real quick uh, with a quick review of the Partagas Cortado Robusto. Um, so this is interesting because this is a Nicaraguan cigar. However, um, it's a uh, Connecticut. So we got a Ecuadorian Connecticut shade wrapper, Indonesian binder, um, an interesting mix of Honduras, Mexican, and Nicaraguan filler. This should be a medium body smoke, medium to mild. Um, Connecticut, but you know, you can see what I'm working with here. I'm gonna go ahead and light this bad boy up, see what it's all about. So you see I got it lit up here, man. Um, very first thing that is very heavy, it's very heavy on the oak right now. Erk, oaf, <laughs> good lord. Oak, earthiness, um, very heavy on that upon initial lighting. A um, little bit of creaminess to it. You know, I did me a straight cut, a straight cut across the top. I come to do a video and can't talk today, you know? Um, draw is not too bad you know it's not very loose um it's definitely not very tight um i say it's pretty pretty perfect draw to be honest with you man that that oak is strong uh but not in a bad way you know but that's when I say it overpowers any and everything else, uh, that's how this cigar, you know, starts out. So I'm going to smoke further into it, come back with, you know, give you a little bit more details, let you know, you know, how the smoke is going and we'll kind of go from there. So I'm going to turn this around a little bit and I'm going to put this cigar in my search for the best inexpensive cigar. Okay. Cause let me tell you. This has smoothed out, and this is a very excellent, this might be the best Connecticut, now, I'm not deep into it of course, but this might be the best Connecticut cigar that I have smoked. Um, so you're definitely, you definitely have the oak. The oak is prevalent. Uh, the creaminess that you expect with a Connecticut cigar is prevalent. Um, it's got a little bit of, maybe a like the perfect hint of pepper to it. Cause it's got a little bit of spice to it. Um, and man, it's just, it's, it's smooth. It's solid. It tastes good. It, it just, it flows good going in, flows good coming out. Like, <laughs> um, man. So the reason I put it in that best inexpensive cigar, price point um is well i believe i don't quote me on this because you know i, I want to say the place that i bought this from charged me nine dollars okay it was nine dollars because of the place that i bought it from just i'll just put that out there i'm not gonna say who where it was but it's one of those places where you walk in and you know they've got your cigars that everybody knows about and then they might have something like this like i've never noticed this cigar before um you know so so they'll have like some cigars maybe that you haven't heard of you don't see all the time etc and they tend to price the ones that you don't really know about a little bit higher than they should be you know they're more fair priced on the ones that you that are common but either way um, I believe I paid nine dollars for this cigar. It was eight ninety nine. Um, if you go online, you can buy a single for six seventy five. MSRP is supposed to be seven forty nine. Um, so I guess when you're talking about inside of a store, eight ninety nine isn't bad. But six seventy five, I found this for sale online. A box of twenty uh, was basically one nineteen, which would put you at what? Uh, a, just right around maybe a little bit under six dollars a stick um 
I mean, at $6 a stick, I challenge you to find something better than this. At $7 a stick, it's going to be pretty darn competitive. You know, um, wow. I don't smoke a whole lot of Connecticut's anymore, but you know, when I started smoking cigars, I was a heavy Connecticut smoker. Um, so I put this one a little bit more to the medium side than mild. I would rate almost every other Connecticut, or not every other, but most of the Connecticut's I smoke, I rate closer to mild than medium. Um, I'll definitely put this one at the medium because of the complexity that includes the pepper. You don't find a whole lot of pepper in most of your Connecticut's, but I mean, even look at the burn, man. Solid burn. I haven't ashed this cigar yet, you know, so thus far we, we're holding the ash pretty good. <clears throat> man, what can I say? Thus far, it's just a quality smoke. So I'm going to smoke into this a little bit more, let you know if anything changes, and then maybe I'll go online and find a few things that others have said about this cigar. All right, <clears throat> so still smoking here. Still got that nice smoky draw. Man, this bad boy is smooth, man, smooth. Um, <clears throat> So we'll see here in a moment. Um, I did see someone mention, I think the, this is like the only complaint that I've seen about this cigar, period, was uh, that this band uses too much glue. So we'll see if we have a problem getting this off here in just a moment. Um, but man, like, what can I say, man? Same notes, man. Uh, you still got the oak, you still have that pepper, you've got the creaminess taste, like every other Connecticut. There's a nutty taste to it as well. Um, I found it interesting because I was, I was going back and forth in my mind <clears throat> and I was thinking closer to almond uh, but I did see one person who thought that the that it tastes more like walnut, uh, which was interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the flavor notes are definitely there. Um, this is a very tasty Connecticut cigar. <clears throat> um, I believe, so, and this is courtesy of, uh, this is on NeptuneCigar.com. Someone said, because I thought this was the best description of this cigar to me, based on how I'm feeling about it. Smooth, easy draw, flawless burn with no touch-ups needed. <coughs> Excuse me, man. Now I'm coughing it down. <clears throat> so this was the best description that I found. Um, and this is on NeptuneCigar.com. So shout out to them. This was a customer review, <clears throat> and it was a five-star customer review. Smooth, easy draw, flawless burn with no touch-ups needed. Puts out tons of thick, creamy, woodsy, oaky smoke. Some floral sweetness with a bit of a peppery bite. Fantastic from start to finish. So, I very much agree with that. Um, Again, being a Connecticut, you know, throw in the nutty flavor as well, because that's definitely there. Um, <clears throat> for the price, this is one that can become an everyday smoke. Yet another great stick for the beginner. Straight burn, smooth and pleasant taste. This probably wouldn't be a bad beginner's cigar. I mean, I've begun Smoking Connecticut's mostly because they were more mild. Even though this one is closer to the medium side than mild, um, I definitely can agree with that. Um, so let's see what happens when we try to take this band off here. Uh, see what they mean? No, no, it came right off. I thought it was gonna stick for a minute, but it was just, it's just a firm band. So it came right off for me. I didn't have the issue um, removing the band. So like I say, man, great smoke. <clears throat> Throw this in my search for the best inexpensive or cheap cigar category. Um, pick one up, try it out, share your thoughts.
head over to the Black Gentleman Grooming Company, www.theblackgent.com. Get you some good old beer products. Follow me right here on YouTube. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know if you've smoked one of these, what your thoughts and your opinion is. Um, but I got to give this one a thumbs up. Um, and this is one of the better cigars that I've reviewed in my inexpensive slash cheap cigar search. So I appreciate y'all stopping by. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of this smoke and I'll holler at y'all later.